All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you book, with my June 2016 update video for, you guessed it, June 2016. Woo! So yeah, as always with these uh, monthly update videos, I'm going to talk about some personal life stuff, as well as a little bit of youtube -y stuff. So, let's get right into the YouTube stuff. Uh, with YouTube stuff, there's going to be a lot of changes, and uh, one of the major changes is that in these monthly update videos, I'm not going to announce upcoming videos anymore. And the reason behind this is because I felt that um, I was being pressured in a way. I was putting uh, extra pressure on myself to uh, meet the deadlines and to you know just make a video just to meet the deadline, not because I want to make a video or because I like the video. I just felt like I was meeting deadlines and it was too much like work, and it just kind of stunted my uh, creativity, I guess, <laughs> with uh, the videos I want to make. So uh, I'm not going to announce any upcoming videos anymore on these monthly updates. Now you're probably still going to get like a one or two day notice on Twitter. You know, when a video comes out I'll probably say like, ah, a new video coming soon at this time or something. I don't know, it depends. It's a case by case thing. Uh, but that's about it really. And uh, I'm also not planning on scheduling any videos. So like, um, <laughs> it's kind of confusing. but. Uh, I'm not planning on, like, say, at this time, on this day, this video is going to come out, you know, every day. You know, aside from the re-uploads. The re-uploads are going to be my only scheduled uh, videos, and those are going to be coming out once a day, every day, at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's minus five hours Greenwich Mean Time. So, uh, depending on where you live, just adjust your time accordingly, I guess. But uh, the re-uploads are going to be the only thing that's uh, scheduled and that's uh, consistent, I guess, is the word I'm looking for, um, until I'm done with those, which is going to be a while, looking at uh, how, how much of my old stuff I got left. But aside from that, and uh, my newer videos, those are going to be kind of like a case-by-case -case basis. So, you know, once the video's done, then I'll put it up and then I'll schedule it. But I guess what I mean by I'm not scheduling any more videos is that I'm not going to, you know, say, have a, have a video out at this time every Friday or something. I don't know. <laughs> you guys get the point, I hope, right? What does this mean for the YouTube section of my monthly updates? So, um, instead of uh, just completely getting rid of the section entirely, um, I'm just going to discuss, maybe kind of spitball, brainstorm, whatever you want to call it, uh, some possible ideas for upcoming videos. They're not like announcements per se. It's just, you know, some ideas that I have in my head for uh, videos. If you guys like them, you know, let me know. Uh, maybe talk about some trends and stuff I've noticed on YouTube if it's kind of major enough or whatever, but I think I would save those for a separate video. So, um, some possible concepts for videos that might be coming out in the future. Um, Life After Navy. Um, that series has been doing especially well and I know I promised that I would make uh, future Life in Life After Navy uh, episodes but uh, <laughs> my fat ass has been really lazy about it so you know yeah <laughs> sorry about that but you know school work you know gotta do what I gotta do um, but uh, I do have some concepts written down for future Life After Navy videos where, you know, I talk about certain aspects of being a veteran and, you know, maybe talk a little bit more openly about uh, what happened during my time in the Navy because uh, the reason that I decided to split this off from NFAX is that, you know, with NFAX I was active duty at the time, so I felt that there was a lot of stuff I couldn't say about the Navy as far as like opinion based things. You know, I couldn't talk about anything really negative about it because I felt that it was kind of a conflict of interest and also I didn't want, you know, somebody letting someone high in the chain of command know, hey, so-and-so was talking shit about the Navy and making us look bad. So I didn't want to start that whole thing because um, I remember there was, uh, when I was going to A school out in San Diego, there were a couple people who found my videos, and I wasn't really even talking about the Navy all that much during that time. 
but they were all like, dude, you gotta take down your videos, you gotta delete your channel, because if the captain sees that, you know, your your ass is going to captain's mast, and that's not true. <laughs> that That's not gonna happen, unless you're, you know, talking very explicitly about the Navy, or revealing secrets or something like that. You know, you're not gonna get sent to mast for making YouTube videos, so that's... One of the reasons I was kind of careful about what I said while I was in the Navy, but now that I'm out, I don't have to worry about so much. I mean, obviously I can't talk about secret information or any of that kind of stuff, but I can be a bit more open about my opinions of my time in the Navy. And keep in mind, it's my time in. You know, I'm talking about my time in. I'm not saying, you know, the Navy in general or anything like that. Cause like some people, you know, really enjoyed their time in. Some people really didn't enjoy their time in. I kind of had a, a mixture of the, of, uh, of the two. You know, I had some experiences that I really liked, and some some experiences I really didn't like, and uh, stuff like that. So, there you go. Um, another thing I'm, you know, thinking about doing is uh, doing uh, editing tutorials. So, um, I've done uh, editing live streams in the past where I live stream my. Uh, the editing process for me like making these videos you know me using Premiere Adobe Premiere Pro to uh, put these videos together and you know just kind of say okay I'm doing this because of this and stuff like that those videos are typically like an hour two hours long so for people who want to know how to do like a simple little thing those live streams aren't very conducive to that so I've been thinking about doing uh, some Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial videos where I talk about maybe like simple how to's like how to import a video or you know how to do a, a picture slideshow or something like that you know it's very you know easy beginner level Adobe Premiere stuff because I'm by no means like a super awesome editor like I don't know a lot of special effects or any of that kind of stuff I just kind of put stuff together in a nice way I guess you could say so I know the basics and the basics are basically good enough for me so we'll put it that way um, but I do want to share what I've learned over the years as a youtuber as a video editor audio editor as well so I'm also planning on or not planning <laughs> no I'm not planning anything but I'm thinking about uh, making a series of videos where I also deal with Adobe Audition and uh, some of my older software like uh, Audacity and Sony Vegas because I know a lot of YouTubers like to use Audacity and they like to use Vegas as well and I've used Vegas for years and years. I've used it for uh, almost 10 years until I recently switched over to Adobe products uh, earlier this year, 2016. And uh, Adobe's nice, I love it, that's why I use it. But that's not to, to uh, discount Sony Vegas or, or uh, Audacity. So I want to you know, possibly do videos involving those programs as well. Again, going over the basics, you know, how to do this, how to do that. And then maybe putting out kind of a, uh, uh, not really a comprehensive, but just kind of like a basic how to make a video guide, which will be a bit longer. But most of these little how-to tutorial videos are probably going to be about three to five minutes long on average, uh, depending on what we're going through, of course. So that is the, uh, the concepts that I have for upcoming videos. So now that we've talked about the youtube -y stuff, let's get into uh, some personal life stuff. So yeah, um, school's going pretty good. Um, started up uh, summer one classes uh, last month. I'm doing really well, haven't missed any assignments, haven't missed any classes, I've been keeping pretty on the ball with that. Um, I also got a job last month as well, working at McDonald's, you know, it's not <laughs> it's not an awesome job, but hey, it helps me pay the bills, and uh, now that I got a job, a second source of income, I can start catching up on the bills as well. So I've calculated it out, and it's probably going to take me about... Uh, a month or two to completely catch up on bills maybe three max to where I'm actually saving money and so the plan is once I'm all caught up on bills and I'm starting to save up money again I'm gonna save up for my eventual move back to Japan so 
Another thing I want to talk about was uh, in an earlier video, I did like an overview of uh, the study abroad programs that Western Michigan offers for uh, going to Japan. And that was definitely a program or definitely a thing that I wanted to do. But I looked into it and the GI Bill doesn't offer aid to study abroad programs unless like your major explicitly requires you to go overseas and my major doesn't do that so it's not one of the uh, one of the exceptions to that so you know it is what it is and if I were to do something like that I would have to come up with all the funding uh, strictly out of pocket or through scholarships so it is definitely a possibility but it, it seems more and more unlikely that I'll be doing that just because of all the extra legwork and stuff like that that I would have to go through and it would eventually it would uh, also kind of delay my graduation anyway because with me taking uh, summer classes and stuff like that um, at the rate that I'm going I, I could potentially graduate a, uh, a semester or not a semester but a year early so I think maybe the best route would be to just kind of press on graduate a year early and then uh, go back to Japan either as an English teacher to get my foot in the door to uh, eventually get into like an IT job, something like that. Because that, that's what I want to do in Japan is work in IT. That's kind of my thing. It's my major, you know, <laughs> computer information systems. It's an IT major. So I want to apply that to a company in Japan because, well, I love Japan. So, but I figured the whole English teacher thing is just a way to kind of get my foot in the door, start making some money, and then I can network and get an IT job that way. Now, if I can get an IT job right off the bat and then, you know, go over on a working visa based on that, awesome. But, you know, that's just kind of my plan for now. And uh, I have a lot of time between now and then, so lots of things could change. But uh, that's basically just what I'm going to be uh, focusing on for now is just uh, getting my bills under control again, getting my grades back up to where they should be because um, I can also get scholarships and stuff like that even if I'm not going to Japan it's still nice to have scholarships you know to help again cover for the bills help with expenses help me save up to eventually go back to Japan stuff like that and yeah but uh, that's pretty much it with uh, this video so I'm gonna close out this video by mentioning uh, my patreon account so for those of you who don't know what patreon is it's basically like an online tip jar so it's used pretty extensively by like youtubers artists anybody who makes stuff online basically can utilize it and uh, what you do is you sign up for the thing and then you can request to uh, basically send uh, money to uh, like an artist or a youtuber maybe me. <laughs> um, you can send them like X amount of money per month and uh, I'm working out reward tiers because a lot of con a lot of content creators using that word, but a lot of people online like to use uh, reward tiers. So if you donate X amount of money, you'll get this back from the creator, like a little kickback, uh, maybe like a postcard or something like that. I'm still kind of working out uh, the reward tiers. Um, let me know what you guys would you know possibly like for rewards. I'm still pretty new to the mechanics behind Patreon. So uh, if you're a little more experienced with it, let me know and uh, I can start working that up. But uh, yeah, patreon.com slash the Andy please. <laughs> uh, I don't like to be an e-beggar, but uh, it's definitely something I got to start plugging, you know, to help me uh, save up for moving back to Japan. So with that said, this is the Andy -san. Sign up for now. Thanking you guys boop, for tuning into this uh, monthly update and for watching other stuff. Also, want to thank you guys for liking, for the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, and if you're friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.